Hi, this is Shadi and recently I've done a video regarding throws and street fights and how to protect ourselves. Basically the use and the basic use of judo when it comes to doing life and facing real life with it. But this is not the only aspect. There's a lot of hidden stuff that can harm us and also just uh, contribute to the lowering of quality of our lives and this is something that's rarely discussed and I want to discuss it with you because uh, I talked about this in the summer I called the video judo and mental health but now I feel like I should talk about it again and more since my audience has augmented and has become a bigger platform so I think it's important that I really want to share this topic with you especially during these tough times that we all are going through and this video has a different vibe from all the others uh, there's no technique uh, there's no history there's no cool stories about bouts and fights but this is a real talk between me and you I want to be as transparent as I can be with you I'm not gonna just put on this facade and talk like everyone else while there's so much going on and I want to talk about the invisible pressure that we go through in life and how judo can really help, whether it is judo, jujitsu, wrestling, or sambo, whatever it is, they all uh, contribute to the well being of our lives. I'm not talking about just going for an hour and just sweating and, you know, making good friends, although that is very healthy, but I'm talking about just seeing things. In a different light and a different way and during this time away from the mats I had learned I have grown to learn and appreciate judo even more now because we all go through a lot of things a lot of mixed emotions a lot of intrusive thoughts stuff that can come from the past stuff that can come from the person that we are the person that we live with the people that we are uh, surrounded by and that can cloud our judgment that can make us see life differently and that can make us either weak or even worse suicidal now it has been very hard like i said but judo has a ton to offer you know just from the like the big image and just seeing it uh, as it is like going having new friends and rolling and sweating and feeling like you've done something that's very good but there's also the things that can help in other ways for example knowing that you can defend yourself as one thing but there is also the idea or the thoughts or the way of thinking that judo can give us that can really save our lives for example um I love Newaza, I love rolling, I love ground grappling, I love escaping tough, uh, difficult positions and getting on top and being offensive. I like the idea that even though I'm on the ground and I'm on my back, I am the one who's in control and I'm the one who's offensive. And uh, judo gave me this way of thinking and judo taught me this. And I think during this time, it's easy to forget this and it's easy to go down uh, in your thoughts because first of all we're not training the best thing we are doing is just doing some jumping jacks at home and going for like a quick jog but that's all we are, we have now at least and we don't know when it's gonna be when we meet our friends again and just just go at it and roll and be crazy like we did and made us forget all the other things that were going on and the fact that we're not going to work or partially going to work or not you know sparring etc we tend to think about that stuff whatever it may be in our lives whether it is like a bad past a bad marriage a bad life a bad job whatever it tends to grow on you and it tends to affect you negatively and that's what made me appreciate judo even more because now what I'm going through it's it really starting to take its toll on me and I really want to share this with you because I miss judo and I miss my friends and I feel like I'm in a very bad place right now and I'm sure I'm not the only one but here I am I am sharing it with you because 
first of all, I need to be transparent and also I feel like it should be talked about not just my situation, but whatever situation it is. And also that I'm showing you the true value of judo and how it was doing us a favor every day and we took it almost for granted. We were so busy with uh, right versus left uh, setups from guard, setups to sweep, whatever. But the, gr the bigger picture was that the quality of our life was just way much better and now we are seeing it and everyone has problems like i said whether it's your marriage it's your kids your health it's now showing and exposing all the weaknesses that we have and we do not have this valuable tool to go and fight through it and again i'm in a very bad place at this moment and this is just a small and personal video different of a different vibe from all the other videos that I've done but again um, <sighs> judo has its like life-saving benefits and I've come to know the value of it and I cannot stress this enough um, I've come so accustomed to talking about judo and then you know logging off my laptop and going to training before and it has become a big part of my life and you tend to get comfortable but now that we have lost it due to this crisis i felt it again what it's like to be without judo like the years prior to judo and now i'm left with this and i'm talking to you about it and i'm very reluctant and i really don't know what to say but i'm just trying to express myself as hard as possible about you know everything that's going on and I thank you all for always interacting with me, always sharing stuff with me. I have another video about bullying. A lot of you shared your own stories about your past. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are going through a tough time right now. And uh, I'm sure training has helped your life prior to this. And I'm sure you could use a lot of training right now. Um, you know one thing that you know a lot of people talk about is oh i'm down i'm feeling down i'm going down um it's this figurative speech of the fact that you are down it's a bad thing and you know that uh jujitsu meme that when life puts you on your back learn how to fight off your back and it's the same thing uh it gives you a mindset that you can take away from the mats into your life but now that you know we, we don't have this constant reminder we don't have this constant offensive way of thinking I think we're trying we're getting a bit colder and we're starting to lose this particular value however I'm trying to hold on to it trying to remind myself of it and remind you of it that uh, in judo I've learned that no matter the situation there's always whether it's a broken posture you cannot stand up straight in life you're on the ground and on your back in life you can always do something you can always go for the yippon in life and again uh it's starting to take its toll on me but this is an important subject that needs to be discussed the mental health and the hidden enemy of life not just like the the very obvious bully or the very obvious aggressor on the street but rather the stuff that we cannot see and judo can and help sure does help in this and um now that there's no judo i feel like i've come to learn the value of it so again i'm i'm repeating myself at this moment i'm not very expressive today i don't know what am i saying but i'm just trying to say that i'm not in a good place at least right now and this is a very important topic that needs to be discussed uh, again the Gracie breakdowns etc they they speak about these things and I'm very thankful the IJF are busy with coffee with Celine and other nonsense um, at least me as a judo channel at least I'm telling you that this stuff do matter I'm sure a lot of you are going through tough times and this comment section is wide open you can always share you can always talk and also remember you can always get the upon from whatever position you are. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.